Greetings humans, this is Aramis from Archil Archives and I have finally gotten out of a uh, writing rut. Push it over. Um, so May was actually one of the best writing months I've had in about two whole years. Um, this year so far has been pretty good for writing. I finished the second book of I Will Become a God. Uh, the second book of Soul Twins, uh, and that was just January, February. Uh, March and April, I was working on book one of Blackthorn, and I finished the first... No, I got about 40,000 words into the book, and then I realized that I need to do another outline once I... Once I got the hang of the, the story, I realized I had, to, I had to make some changes. So, this month, May, I decided I was going to buckle down and I am going to get Goldfinger done. Now, I made a video already talking about the fact that I kind of finished the, the trilogy. This month, the goal was to write the third book and edit book one and two. Now, the editing for book one. I finished book one editing last week and I got 40,000 words into Goldfinger 3, which almost took me to the end. It was just the last scene to write, but I decided not to bother writing it because um, the there were some characters who were going to switch sides in the rewrite, so writing that final scene I was going to end up scrapping it anyway, so it made no sense to write it. But I just wrote down some bullet points, got it. Then I decided since I'm going to now work on editing, I kind of also want to work on writing as well. So at the, at the same time, because I can write and edit two different books at the same time, but I can't write two books at the same time. So since I was writing, uh, since I was editing Goldfinger, I decided that I was going to use my newfound love of the lit RPG genre, kind of. Whether it's a genre or not is actually debated. Um, but I decided to use that because I got an I got an idea for a story. It's called Dunkalia, and it's so fun. I started writing it, and I decided to try a challenge of. 5,000 words a day to see if I can get the whole book finished in the span of two weeks. Now I have gotten novellas finished in two weeks and I have gotten 50,000 word novels finished in three weeks, but I've never got a full length book finished in two weeks. I am now Wednesday, today is Wednesday, the 1st of June, and I am at 41,000 words at the moment. I took Saturday off um, and Friday I decided to finish up Goldfinger. So I got about 25,000 words in the span of five days and I am 4,000 words away from getting today's 5,000 words. I'm taking a break from writing to make this video. And I have to say I'm really enjoying it. The problem I came up with actually last night is that because the roles of two characters ended up changing. I'm definitely gonna have to do what I would call a soft rewrite. Um, I don't have to rewrite everything because I really like some of the scenes like uh, when Ash confronts Ophelia. I don't think anything in that scene is going to change besides maybe a few, I'll, I'll probably add in a few more descriptions, but the scene itself is remaining the same. But then the first chapter the, while the fight scene would remain the same, the the conversation leading up to the fight scene and them get it going into the dungeon, that would change a bit because Neris as a character has changed. So I'm gonna have to do like a soft rewrite, but I am on track to getting the 50,000 words this week. Now, based on where I am in my outline, um, I passed the midpoint and I'm... If you do the 15 beats, which is what I, I use to outline this book, then I'm at the 10th beat. Um, almost at the All Is Lost. So I'm still in Act 2, so I, I think I'm going to have about at least 15,000 words left in this book. 
up. So I might not get to finish this week, unfortunately. But this still would have been the most consistent I've ever been with writing 5,000 words a day. I actually got a 6,000 word day, so that, that was fun. Um, and yeah, I'm really enjoying it. So I did, see, I, I even tracked, I wanted to get 80,000 words and I didn't think I was going to make it. And then last night I was looking at my goals because I was setting up for June in my, um, in my notebook. And I realized I only had about 3,000 words to get to the 80,000. And those 3,000 words would have been part of my 5,000 words for the day. So I just decided to buckle down and get it. I could have barely seen the screen by the time I wrote that those last thousand words. I had such a headache from just staring at the computer. And then I'd done some yard work earlier, so I was really tired. But I got in the words. And because I had an outline and I knew what was going to happen in the scene, the words flowed. It was just the fact that I was so tired. Why? Um, it, it took a little more than I expected because, and this goes on to another point, this month I decided to try writing with 25 minute sprints. Now normally I write in 15 minute sprints because that was like my sweet spot. I was getting about 500 words every 15 minutes, but I wanted to see if I can speed things up. So 500 words in 15 minutes it gives an average about a thousand every half hour. And I wanted to see if I can get a thousand words in 25 minutes. So now I've been writing with 25 minute sprints. And I have to say, I did get those thousand words a few times. Normally my average is about 940 words to 950 words, which is already faster than if I was to do a full three. Uh, it, it, it's already faster because, yeah, numbers. <laughs> And that, that's good. I've been making such a progress. And I think because my writing speed has gotten faster and my outlining method has adjusted a little, that I'm able to maintain these 5,000 words without feeling too burnt out. I, only, I think the reason I'm getting all these edits is because I'm also then editing on top of that. But once I get this book out, um, then I won't be editing and writing at the same time, or at least like, that's not that's a plan, to not be doing both at the same time. But I've already edited Goldfinger 1 and 2 like five times, so this is like just one last edit, so I don't need to... It's not really story that's getting edited, it's more just I'm getting some um, sentences smoothened out a bit, uh, making sure the punctuation is right because sometimes, you know, things happen. You accidentally press the, the full stop button twice instead of once, or you double space between two words. You know, little things like that. That's what I'm doing for this edit. That's why I can manage writing and editing at the same time without uh, feeling like my brain has been fried. And I'm also doing... I've always done this, but I, I'm making... I'm doing it more intentionally right now, where I do an outline, a basic outline for the whole book, uh, with some scene notes and getting... making sure that the motif... I, I understand what the characters want. Uh, even though that might change, like, with Neris, cause, but Neris was supposed to be a minor character. She has become a major character, so obviously her motivation is going to change a bit. But the main characters, I knew exactly what they wanted, and it was just that some things changed while I was writing. And what I usually do is I would have my outline on Google Docs, and sometimes I end up <laughs> re-outlining. Um, like, I had to re-outline Act 3 for Don Calio, which is a book I'm working on right now because some stuff changed and the ending is going to be so much stronger, right, um, with the changes that I made. So that's that's pretty good. Um, but yeah, because I do these basic outlines and then adjust as I go, I, it also means that I'm constantly thinking about what the next scene is going to be and what the next um, plot point is going to be. So as I'm writing, because I, I've already thought about what I'm going to write next, I'm able to maintain that typing speed throughout the whole 25 minutes. 
and after every 25 minute sprint I'll sit down and think or even write down what's going to happen next and that really again helps to keep up with the speed because I'm not having to stop and think all the time. But I've been watching some AutoTube videos and man the hatred for outlining is strong. And I, I don't really, I don't get the hatred because nobody sticks rigidly to their outline. It's going to adjust so the whole idea of oh it's going to be formulaic and if I outline the book then I've already, uh, I don't want to write it because then it's boring now. And the thing is that is the dumbest excuse ever for not outlining. If you write down your outline and you have in your outline and then the character for gun-toting dinosaurs and your response to seeing that plot point is it's boring now because I already wrote down the plot point the story is probably not interesting because if I just told you that the first thing that's supposed to come into your head is how do the gang dinosaurs hold the guns? Are they strapped to their body? I kind of want to see how this is gonna play out. That's more of like what it is that your plot points are supposed to get from you when you see them. This this sounds kind of cool. I kind of want to see how this is gonna work out. So the, the whole idea that doing the outline is gonna make the story boring is stupid. Yeah, I'm just gonna say it out loud. Uh, uh, completely out. I mean, I just saw the trailer for The Grey Man with Ryan Reynolds and Chris Evans and it's about two assassins trying to kill each other. And if I told you that, you're supposed to think, I want to see that. If you then think that because it's your story, it sounds boring because now you know what the story is about, that's it's stupid. It's like not wanting to write a mystery because it's gonna end with the detective finding out who the killer is. Ridiculous. If you don't want to outline, that's still your business. I'm just saying that that excuse is... It's a pet peeve of mine. I just hate hearing that excuse. I'd rather you just said, I don't want to do it. And then I'd be, fine, then don't do it. But th that excuse, ugh, lame. Oh, m side note. This is not a fitness channel, but I, I feel so proud that I kind of want to, to talk about that goal. One of the goals I had for this month was that I was going to ride... 400 miles on this exercise bike that I bought. It's an upright bike, not one of the heavy duty ones, but a simple one that I have in front of a TV. And I told myself, I just want to, I want to do 400 miles. It's a little out of reach, but not ridiculously out of reach. And it, it meant I was riding on it in two 40 minute sessions to the day. And I, I did it. I accomplished my goal and I got the 400 miles and I didn't expect much, but I started to see my abs poking out. So this month, I'm definitely going to be taking my exercise more seriously. As for my other goals, apart from working on my abs some more, I want to finish Duncalia book one and make notes for the edits when I get to it. And then I want to finish editing Goldfinger book two because I'm already a third of the way through editing it, so that's gonna be easy. And then the third main goal is to write the first draft of Goldfinger Book 3. Now, Norm, I wanted to put Publish Book 1 because I already have it edited and the book cover, but that's really not gonna work out. I don't think it's going to work out this month because Apple products are garbage. And I haven't had one single thing that has worked properly from them yet. But my software, the software that I use Vellum to format my books is on my MacBook. And the battery has swollen yet again. So I'm waiting on another battery to reach. But I live in Jamaica, which means when you order something, it's like three weeks to a month. Or sometimes even more before it reaches. So fingers crossed that I get it like I get the new battery this month and that it doesn't destroy my laptop because that program was $250 and I have some other programs on I have the programs on that MacBook is worth more than the MacBook itself. So I'm really, really 
fingers crossed that it doesn't destroy my MacBook. Considering it's an Apple product, who knows? It, it might just give up on life, even though it's a MacBook Pro and it shouldn't do that. But I really hope it doesn't. If I get the battery, then I can just take one day and format everything. Vellum is a very, very easy program to use, and I love using it. Another reason why I don't want to lose this MacBook. And yeah, I think those are just my four writing goals and my one fitness. Well, not one fitness goal. I have um, a certain distance I want to get, and I'm going to be chipping away at it every day. I've already done 10 more miles on the bike this morning as... A wake up because if you know me you know my joints kill me in the morning so cardio in the morning and then mid-afternoon my brain is usually on go slow so I usually exercise again another session in the afternoon that session is usually strength training with a bit of cardio and that's all I keep that that's all I can work for so long I have to take those exercise breaks so an exercise goal isn't going to affect my writing goals that much. And I think I can accomplish it. This month and this past two weeks with how much I've written, I wrote 80,000 words this month. Imagine that. Well, last month. I think I, I, think I can do it. I, I didn't think I was going to be able to get the 80,000 words, but I got it. I didn't think I was going to be able to write 5,000 words for almost every work day for two weeks straight. And I'm doing it, and I think I think I can manage this. I'm not gonna have a word count goal. Um, I think I mentioned this in an earlier video that I am no longer really tracking my word count because I already have a baseline of what I know I'm capable of doing. So my word count goals for the day, I'm not tracking it overall like I used to track my word counts. Um, so instead, I'm tracking my finished projects um, because tracking word count by itself was getting me a lot of words but not a lot of finished projects so right now my goal is to finish the projects which is why I I just did this this 80,000 words just to see if I could get out of the writing rut that I had been in for a while and I think I'm out of it right now so I don't need to track my words anymore I'm just going to keep at it and finish my projects. I can't wait for you guys to read Goldfinger. It's a book that I really, really like. Uh, a series that I really, really like. I love pirates and I love this story. I would marry Kate and I'm Arrowies. So, you know, she's cool. Um, and yeah, I can't, I can't wait for, for that book to come out. I know Haley Storm is still my best selling series, even though. It's one of the first books I've published, and I think if you like lit RPG, not isekai, it's, it's not an isekai, but if you like fantasy lit RPG, then you like Dunkalia. Um, there is... this first book has a lot of stuff in it, and I'm hinting at some stuff later. Uh, one of those being a cult, another one being political intrigue involving the figurehead king and the other one involving Calypso falling in love with a himbo because my latest obsession has been Men of the Harem and if you haven't read the manhwa or the manga, um, the, the manhwa or the novel and you're into funny, it, it's not even really a romance, it sounds like a romance but it isn't. It has a lot more political intrigue than you would think from that title. And if you're into a lot of funny, I, I laughed out loud so many times during reading that. It's so much fun and I love it. And there are a few himbos and I love them so much and they have inspired me to write my own. So you meet Tateo in book two of Dunkalia and he is amazing. I love him. And yeah, I have so much planned for this book and that's not even taking into account what I have for Blackthorn and uh, the Fifth Realm. I'm sure you guys will, if you're into fantasy and uh, magic and gods and fighting monsters and stuff, you love fifth, the Fifth uh, the Fifth Realm. So definitely gonna be working on that one as well. 
And I think that's it for now. I'm not going to be working on those this month. I'm going to focus on finishing Duncalia and finishing Gold the Goldfinger Pirate Trilogy. So stay tuned for more updates. I'm I wasn't doing much many writing videos because I honestly wasn't writing that much. Um, but now that I'm writing more, I'm thinking about doing uh, a 5k writing day video. So I'm thinking about doing that. Uh, if I can get the echo sorted out, if you notice, I'm in my bedroom. I have some blankets up and I'm next to my comforter and I'm hoping the echoes won't be as bad as when I filmed in my study. I would put up more stuff, except I don't have any other stuff to put up because we just moved. So please bear with me for the time being with the echoes and the kind of bad lighting. I am really working on it, uh, but you know, you do, you do things one, one at a time and my writing is more important at the moment. So, I'll see you in another video, and I'll give you an update when there's something to update. I'm hoping to finish Dunkalia this week, but it might bleed over into next week, but... I'll see you guys soon! Keep writing! Write all those words! 5,000 words used to seem like a whole lot, and now I'm doing it every day. Maybe one day I'll get up to 7,000 words like Chris Fox and Aaron Oster. Oh, maybe I might become an absolute monster like Lindsay Barocca. She's insane. But for now, I'm at 5,000 words and I'm really enjoying writing again. So, I'll see you soon. Keep writing. Later. <laughs>